two, one. And we are speaking with Frank and Diane Russell. Actually, Diane and Frank Russell. Is that right? That's better. That's right. That's, yeah, that's, that's better. The way to do it. Who are chair people of the? Can't say chairman anymore because that's uh, all those generic words. Every. They're running the show here in Springfield, Massachusetts, actually West Springfield, Massachusetts. And um, tell us the name of the show. It's a Springfield RV Camping and Outdoor Show. Okay, and in, how many years is this show going on? This is a 47th annual show. So it's not like it's your first year or anything like that? <laughs> That's correct. Okay. Frank, anytime you want to chime in here. Uh, oh, 47 years of okay, experience. Good. Okay, 47 years of experience. Tell us about uh, how the traffic has been this year in, in spite of all of the um, talk about the R word. Well, we've still had an awful lot of people coming through the doors. The numbers seem to be right around the same that they were last year, so it doesn't seem to be affecting our attendance at all. Okay. What have the, uh, have the, I'm going to try to pan here and get some of the activity behind us here. What have uh, the dealers had to say about um, the traffic and whether they're buyers or lookers? Well, basically the dealers, uh They've, they've started to see some interest um, starting as of the first of the year and even at our show uh, they're relatively happy with what has transpired so far as far as uh, the possible people uh, out there purchasing RVs to purchase RVs. Now motorhomes or travel trailers what, what seems to be the uh big seller so far the motor, or at least the one the interest? The motorhome aspect is uh, down a large percentage. The midsize uh, trailer, fifth wheel, uh, middle of the line, that is basically, uh, that's running at about 60% of the sales and then the smaller units. Are, are the big, that, the big action? Are the, are the, the biggest the action biggest, right now. Biggest action, okay. Now, tell us about your own experience in the camping world. Not camping world, but in the world of camping. Tell us how long you've been involved with it and the fact that you're one of the few people who put on a show that actually camp yourself. Right. We've been actually camping for about 30 years ourselves. We brought so up you our started team. when you were 12. Right. We right. were 12 years old. And obviously I you married 13. somebody much, much older. Than <laughs> yeah, you. yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. We brought up our family camping so that they've loved the outdoors and going out with friends. This show, we belong to a camping club, Pioneer Valley Chapter 8 of NAFCA, and it's our club that puts the show on. So we really spend the year with our friends for camping, um, talking about camping year-round, camping much of the season. And, and because she's the chairperson, she has her radio to make her look important. But you're one of the few people in the, in the camping show business that is the show is actually put on by campers because there's so many promoters right. that have gotten into the industry how does that make show this show different than any other ones that people might go to around the country i feel i feel that we take uh, this show personally each individual that is on the committee and our members we take pride in our show uh, we are known as the best show in, in the New England area because of the way we treat our vendors. We are very pleasant. We bend over backwards uh, basically to take care of whatever they need mm. in order to make uh, producing their part of the show a lot easier. A lot easier. And uh, I'm just going to pan behind us here as, as we look just so we can see some of the people and some of the uh, uh, products that are available for sale. But, you know, the fact is, um, the R word has been talked about and the industry is suffering, et cetera, et cetera. There's no question that based upon the number of manufacturers that have uh, shut doors or are ready to or are in trouble, but you seem to have the same people back every year and that's certainly got to be a testament to the fact that you're uh, putting the show on the right way. Uh, what, what, do, what do dealers tell you about, about this particular show? Dealers tell us that they like coming to our show. Our show, the prices are very reasonable, and that's because we're able to keep our overhead down because we staff it with volunteers. It's our club that's putting it on. It's people that love campers. It's not as much a business or being put on by promoters. We are campers ourselves, so we have that same culture of camping, which is friendly, courteous, doing what we can to help others. They like coming to our show because we have extra 
amenities for them. We have hospitality rooms that we offer complimentary refreshments for mm -hmm. them. And that's the one right behind me, right? That we'll, we'll turn yes, around and uh, we have a big security guard right here, but uh, uh, this is the the uh, exhibitor's lounge, is that? Exhibitor's lounge, is that right? yes. And, um, we also put on a Sunday night party for exhibitors where we do a buffet dinner, have a DJ, and our exhibitors and volunteers can all get together and get to know each other. Last year we fed about 375 people at it, and again, that's all complimentary. Complimentary to the people that are, that are, yeah. that are your vendors. Yes. So basically what you've done is extend the, the camping tradition by creating a, a family atmosphere. Absolutely. Does that sound right? That's correct. Yeah, we really, part of the mission of our show is to promote a good family camping experience in the show to show that. Okay. Any final words for the entire United States, actually the whole world that will have an opportunity to see this? Frank, if you want to give your, um, you're an electrician. Yes, right. I am. Do you want to tell us uh, the name of the company and your website and that type of thing? Or uh, uh, I'm, I'm Russell Electric. <laughs> Russell I Electric. I do not have a, I do not have a okay. website. But uh, as I said previously, uh, our club members, we're very proud of our show. And we are the biggest, the oldest, and the best in New England. In New England. In New England. How about the Northeast? Would you, would you go so far as to say the Northeast as opposed to just New England? Well, we'd like to think we're the best in the Northeast, but we do know there's a couple of other shows that are bigger than us. That so are bigger, but... That are bigger. But you're the friendliest. We're the friendliest. Friendliest. <laughs> and... And the uh, least inexpensive. Frank's, Frank's got to have the uh, last word here. What was that again, Frank? The least inexpensive. The least inexpensive. That's correct. To attend, because I think. Because it is... Uh, volunteer run. Volunteer. Voluntary. Well, forget it. Flip that out. Okay. <laughs> We can't edit. We're going straight. We're going straight. No, we can't do like that. the Tonight Show. No, no, no. Okay, and we're going to say goodbye. But before we do that, we're going to say, this is John DePietro along with the Russells saying goodbye from West Springfield, Massachusetts. Have a great camping season. And go ahead. Now you can say goodbye yourself. Goodbye and thank you. Don't forget to attend the Springfield RV Camping and Outdoor Show.